We got Ricky Simone back here on the program. He's going to be taking on Benino Lopez at UFC 227 on August 4th. Uh, Ricky, what's going on, man? How you doing? I'm doing great. Um, just got back into my part of town in uh, Vancouver, Washington to finish out camp with my team. I'm about to hit a strength and conditioning workout after we get done with this interview, so I'm feeling great. Well, yeah, I appreciate you having me part of your uh, pre-strength uh, and conditioning here today. Um, and uh, we, we got to first talk about this matchup. I know the last time you and I talked, this was a fight you wanted. I know Benito wanted this fight too. Just how happy were you first off just to get this fight booked? Because I know there's a, it was a long time coming. No, yeah, uh, I'm super happy with the matchup. Uh, Benito, and I, Benito and I were supposed to fight a few times on the regional scene, and uh, there's no better time in the, than uh, in the UFC on the big stage at the Staples Center. So, um, yeah, I, I'm super pumped about this. I, I um, you know, I said his name after my uh, first UFC fight, and uh, the UFC liked it, and they gave me the fight. So they must be happy with me too. So I, I, I'm, I'm just happy about it. We were supposed to fight a few times already. He dropped out. Uh, I said his name, and then he, he, uh, he, he agreed to it. So he wasn't out there saying my name before that, though. Uh, I feel like he's been avoiding the fight. Um, so yeah, it's it's gonna happen. It's finally gonna happen, and I feel like I match up great. Um, he he's a great. I think he's 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 a great fighter too. He has a lot of skills. He he has a lot of tricks. But um, I think I'm overall I'm uh, better. You know, I'm gonna be better prepared, and I'm better well. I'm more well rounded than he is. So so uh, yeah, I, I'm very excited about this matchup. And you talked about coming back. I imagine you were in Hawaii training before this uh, with Tyson there. Yep. Yep, uh, I've been doing that for the last like, year and a half now, doing half camp over over there with Tyson Nam and the, and the boys over at Hawaii Elite MMA. And uh, then I come home, finish out camp at home, and stay stay sharp with my coaches. So it's been uh, it's just been the recipe that's been working uh, lately, so we're going to stick to it. Okay, and uh, who are some of the guys besides Tyson that you got to work with at Hawaii Elite? Um, uh, there's so many good guys my size there, but Martin Day, uh, Ian Ian De La Cuesta, Ryan De La Cruz, uh, Pierre. Um, there's just there's there's a bu- there's a bunch of guys. Uh, Russell Doan, Louis Smoka are out are out there too. So just just a bunch of guys my size uh, that are perfect looks for Benito. So. And then what about back what about back home? Who are some of the guys you get to work with there? Uh, we 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 have so many so many up and comers at, at uh, Gracie Baja and guys getting signed to Bellator and and, and fighting the contenders and stuff. So. Uh, my main training partners that over there have always been like Carson Fry, Jake Smith, um, uh, Ian King, uh, Cody Hammond. There's 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 a, there's a bunch of up and coming guys. You guys are gonna hear their names soon. Okay. What about Austin Vanderford? Because he's fighting next week. I think or coming up here soon on Contender Series. Yeah, yeah. He's uh he's fighting on the what is that? Be 17th. Uh, so is my cousin. My cousin Vince Morales is fighting on that same car too. Vince so Morales is your cousin? How did I not know that's that? That's my cousin. Yeah, that's family. I didn't know that. Okay. Uh, so I'm actually gonna fly out for the day to watch uh, my teammate and my and my family uh, get that contract. So so I'll be there in attendance. That must be nice coming back. Uh, that's your old your old stomping grounds, the Contender Series. That's where uh, you know you kind of propelled yourself up there. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So I, I already uh, cornered once at the Contender Series this year, so I got to go back. It was pretty cool, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna just be there in the crowd supporting the the team and the fam. Excellent. Um, how's the weight cut going? Uh, you mentioned doing a bit of traveling. I imagine that's all on point. Yeah, no, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling strong. Um, you know, I, I can't believe I have another month. It's, it, everything felt so rushed this last year. I had <clears throat> about, I had so many fights that last year, and uh, it was rough. It was taking a toll on my body. So just getting to have that, you know, a little bit of time to recover, like my body to recuperate and to recover, you know, I, I, this is the best I've, I've felt in a long time, and I'm, I'm just so excited to show the real me out there. And who's going to be in your corner for this fight? Oh man, we got the dream team: uh, Tyson Nam, Bobby Schoenner, and Ian Loveland will all be in my corner. And how do you see this fight playing out on the fourth? I mean, I know you're always going for the finish. W- when are we going to see it in this fight? Oh, yeah, there's going to be a, between Benito and I. Come on, there's going to be a finish. This fight's going to be crazy. Uh, but I don't see Benito being able to keep up my pace. He gasses. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm sensing a second round knockout. Where do you feel like a win over Lopez puts you in the division? Because, uh, you know, you had that, that win in your debut. Uh, this, this is another, you know, pretty up-and-comer uh, as far as, like, at a prospect. Uh, where, where do you feel like a win sort of situates you in the division? Yeah, no, I feel like, uh, you know, there are a lot of prospects in my division right now, in the Bantamweight division. So, um, yeah, it just, it's just going to gonna add to my stock. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to keep beating up all these prospects, uh, especially because, uh, you know, he got signed off the Contender Series. I did not. I had to take the tougher road. I had to go win 
an LFA belt and then defend the LFA belt and then get a short notice call. You know, so uh, so yeah, I'm I'm coming out. I'm coming after all the prospects, and then I'm gonna start breaking that top 15 here soon. So, so you would like to keep this going as far as fighting prospects as opposed to fighting a veteran? Because I was going to say that's the one thing we haven't seen uh, so far in your career. As, as far uh, in, in your UFC career, I should say, like you, you're oh, fighting yeah. a prospect again, basically. So, yeah, yeah, no, uh, I'm I'm okay with whoever. If uh, if it's between me and another prospect, who's going to get that next step? Let me prove that I can beat that prospect. You know, I've never been scared of fighting. I've never been scared of proving what I can do. I've never turned down a fight. So, uh, yeah, who, I mean. Uh, I'm fine with beating up prospects and, and, and climbing the ranks. Uh, what are you watching right now on Netflix? Any TV getting you through training camp right now? Um, man, I have not been watching very much TV at all. You know, I, I spent, uh, you know, the last couple of weeks and last few weeks in Hawaii. So I w- wasn't watching a lot of TV. So, um, yeah, yeah, nothing right now. Okay. What are you doing on your downtime? There must be something you're doing outside of training to kind of take your mind off everything. Um... You know, uh, when I was when I had downtime in Hawaii, obviously I'd go to the beach and just just relax, just relax. But uh, uh, now I'm back home. Uh, as you can see, it's not as sunny out here. Uh, <laughs> I know that <laughs> growing up in the Pacific Northwest, Washington. you get those rainy, those cloudy days. Unfortunately, yeah, I love it though. I love it. Uh, no, I I uh, still just just hang out. Uh, I uh, some of my teammates got me hooked on PUBG. Chris Chris Sunshine Williams, that guy's so good at PUBG, and it just makes me so mad because I'm not very good. So I'm just playing, playing a little bit here and there, trying to get better. <laughs> Looking forward to this fight. It's UFC 227 coming up here August 4th. Ricky, it was uh, great getting a chance to catch up with you again. Uh, just remind people where they can find you on social media, and if you got any sponsors or shout-outs, the floor is yours. Yeah, go ahead and follow my uh, fan page on Facebook, just Ricky Simone, and then um, on Twitter and Instagram, Ricky Simone UFC. And I'll, I constantly am shouting out my sponsors on, on all those and plugging them. So just give me a follow and you'll see.